Well, hi guys. This is going to be one to think about. I want to test some of you guys' knowledge. Maybe somebody out there knows and can tell us. Um, this is a my 1850 with a 354 Perkins. Uh, we changed the drive gear under the injector pump. Mine is the old style engine using a bearing, not the bushing under here. Uh, okay, this is the new style. This is the old style. This is a shim that's underneath the bearing. It goes underneath the brass gear, which attaches to the drive shaft. Or basically, this, this, whoops, and this here. Okay, this is the gear out of mine. Um, get it in the light, you might be able to see it. There are fresh cut marks, wear marks, which would be on the bottom side of the gear. Uh, if you can see those pullouts. Hopefully you can. So that meant this gear, which sits this way, is riding low. Alright. What we can't find out and what we need to know. My book does not show it. Uh, Harry's books over there. All his shop manuals, everything he's got has nothing on how to set the lash or anything about this shim, how thick, how anything. And we're trying to, to find this information. And like I said, this is new style, this is old style. Now, if I had I had the new style, like this, I know where a brand spanking new one is. New gear, new everything. But it won't work in this engine. Because mine is set up for the bearing. So, my question to you guys is, does anybody have any information on how to set this. How it's supposed to be, what the procedure for shimming it is, anything about it. Because we cannot find any kind of information anywhere. I've talked to two, two different Perkins dealers, one in northern Kentucky, one in northern Ohio. One had absolutely no clue about what I was talking about. Other dealership I talked to, the lady I talked to, she said, this guy back in the back might know something, transferred to him. He knew what I was talking about as far as the old versus new setup. However, he can't find any information on it. Uh, he told me, he said, let me look this up. I'll call you back. Um, he called me back like a half an hour later. He says, I don't know if Perkins deleted that information or if I'm not looking in the right place. But he said, I can't find anything about it. 
but he's the only one I knew that knew exactly what I was talking about. And it told me, he said, I haven't seen one of these setups in 30 years. He said, I have no memory how it's done. Now I talked to a fella just uh, days Tuesday, Saturday morning, who worked for an old uh, Massey dealer for many years and he has never seen this style drive on a 354. Now it's the same gear you're just inside here is just different. One is machined for a bushing the other is machined for a bearing. Uh, the bearing ones they used only a couple of years and they switched it to the bushing and that's what everything has been ever since. They got away from the bearing. Um, we put a new bearing in under here. It's part, put a new bearing in it. The old bearing has this one, which I put in just about a year ago, has got a bad spot in it. Now if you just turn it, you can't feel it, but if you put pressure down on the center to the race, there's a little catch right there. So that might cause an issue too vibration, whatever. Uh, the new bearing is an SKS and is RLS8. It is a metric bearing. Uh, you can look it up on eBay. They're like 10 to $30 for a new one. But getting back to this, if any of you guys out there have any idea how or have the information on how this gear is supposed to be shimmed to the drive gear which goes through this housing sticks out the back which is this gear, this is your drive auxiliary drive. It's got the worm gear uh, made on it, steel, and you got the brass gear inside it rides on. Somebody someplace has got to have the information on how to shim that bearing up to set the lash correct on this. Now Harry's been working here for 50 years and he has never had to deal with one of these like this. He's dealt with a new style. It's just a bushing going down in there. And there's nothing on it as far as a shim. There's a bushing and a collar. That's it. Where mine has shim, bearing, which goes in on this shaft and the gear bolts to it from under just like it's just like this so if anybody out there has any information on how thick the shim is? Did they sell more shims? And information on how to set that lash between those gears. Please put a comment below down in the comments. Please, you know, if you know where uh, where this information is at, 
pass it along. Uh, if Chris Lucy sees this, same question to you, Chris. Let us know if you got any information on this and how to set it up. Um, I'm running into a lot of dead ends. And it's like Harry said, he's never dealt with one. This is a 65 model engine. 66 they switched to the bushing so this is a first year tractor first run of engines they're using so there were changes made as everything gets changed as time goes on but we got about 20 degrees deflection from the time the flywheel turns to this injector pump turns and what we're getting for uh, gear lash we plastic gauged it all comes up normal in that normal range so if it's falling in within tolerances then you know you gotta look elsewhere we've gone timing marks through the crank up through these gears this is the only gear set that we cannot quite figure out is how this is supposed to be set because like I said my book doesn't show it or talk anything about how to do this his books don't show it, so if somebody's got a book out there that talks about the auxiliary drive with the old style setup with a bearing in it, please let us know how this is done. Uh, we're hitting a lot of brick walls because nobody has the information and we can't find anything uh, but it's the like I said auxiliary drive it's removal but it's the shaft and it's talking about installation but it does not say anything about this style here of the shim, the bearing, the gear, and the shaft. All, it, all this pertains to here is the new style. So if anybody has any information on this old style setup and how it's put in and supposed how you're supposed to set that gear lash, let me know. Because when you got two guys that have been working on a 354 Perkins for 50 plus years, 50 years, and they've never seen this particular style, it's kind of a rarity. So if anybody's got any information on how to shim this, and set the gear to set the gear lash let me know um, we would be most appreciative to get that information because there's 20 degrees deflection from the time the crank turns you could be at zero and almost be at 28 degrees before top dead center before the this shaft in the pump moves. So that makes timing this thing a little bit on the difficult side. Because one of the things Harry did had it outside running, loosen these three bolts and you could take this pump all the way one way and all the way the other way and it did not change how the engine ran. That's a big red flag to me. 
So it's down to this drive gear set. But, like I said, if anybody got this information, please let me know in the comments. Or phone number of somebody to call that can explain this. Or, you know, if any of you guys out there know about this, let me know. Because we're scratching our heads. Uh, like I said, Harry's been doing this 50 years. Uh, the other fella, I won't mention his name, but he's been doing it as long, if not longer. And if you got these two guys that worked on the amount of engines that they have worked on and have never come across this, a little bit of a rarity. So, guys, I'm going to end it here. Please let me know. You know, if you've ever seen this before or know anything about it, you got shim, bearing, gear, and the shaft. New style is collar, bushing, drive gear, collar, ring. Uh, new style, there's plenty of information. Old style is what I have. And we cannot find anything about it. No Perkins dealer knows anything about it. I've talked to, you know, several others who are just as baffled as we are. And nobody can seem to find the information. So if you find it, please let us know. I'm going to end it here, guys. We'll see you next time. And as always, please comment, rate, and subscribe. Today is Tuesday, the 28th of September. So, we'll see you next time, guys.